don't get crazy. We've got an anatomical model here today to show us how to auscultate heart sounds. So one of the mnemonics I learned in my training was all pigs eat too much. So that stands for atrial, pulmonic, herbs point, tricuspid, and mitral valve. So when you auscultate each of these, you'll hear each of those vowels. And when you're listening to heart sounds, it should be like a loved up. Listen for a minute, and that will give you your heart rate. So when we're listening to normal heart sounds, if you remember with the anatomy of the stethoscope, this wider one is the diaphragm, which will pick up low frequencies. Whereas the bell, this one's high frequencies. So if you're assessing for a heart murmur, um, you're gonna use this side, because you need to pick up those high frequencies. Now, if you work in CCU, ICU, you're going to listen to each of these five points so that you can pick up a murmur. If you're working in emergency or in the ward, you're going to hit the mitral one straight up. So remember, put it in front of you so we can see. <laughs> Have those earpieces down so you can hear the sound. So they go into your ear canal. Just a gentle tap, make sure it's on. Using the diaphragm side. And there you have the heart sounds. So remember, all pigs eat too much. So aortic valve, pulmonic, herbs point, tricuspid and mitral. And for those needing to just get a basic heart rate, we go straight here. If it's a female, then you need to ask the female to lift her breast so that we can hear underneath there so that we can get into that mitral valve and hear the sound there.